Good morning guys! Today is Saturday and I thought that today we can make an easy kind of vlog type day together. Uh, I will simply maybe show you some, show you, <laughs> show you some cooking that I'm gonna be doing. I also have small change planned in our bedroom. I showed in my Instagram stories my breakfast recently. It's simple avocado breakfast, but you liked the way I cut it and present it. The whole trick is basically in a good avocado and at the moment I'm praying that it is a good one. All I do is I cut it in half first and by the feel of it, it sounds like it's a, it's a, it is indeed a good avocado. Yes, there's nothing brown and at the same time it's decently soft and then I do remove the middle so you simply just get your knife in and twist and then the bone is out and then here's a bit tricky part so you have to just peel the skin if there is if anyone has a better way how to peel the avocado skin than like that <laughs> tell me and then we're just gonna slice it and present it on the toast I've been on YouTube about 10 years ago I was living in Denmark as a student and uh, I just made videos about how to live in Denmark, <laughs> how to survive in Denmark if you're a student, what is the difference between Latvian and uh, Danish education because I'm Latvian by nationality and um, yeah now I live in UK so I kind of deleted all those old videos because I didn't like the way they looked they were made on my old web camera and i thought hey like it's it's way below the current quality of youtube so they don't deserve to be there as you could see i sliced avocado very thinly i move like this have avocado slices in half and then when i do it i grab the whole stash and then i put it like this vertically on the toe and just kind of slide it down if you have a proper white bread you can just kind of zigzag them so for example i would put it like this and twist it and then spread the other half on the sandwich here is the ready breakfast and as you can see i put on top of it some salt and pepper and i thought i'll show you this salt i really like it because it has these very beautiful flakes and it's very nice for the presentation of, for example, some baked vegetables, potatoes, or those red potatoes, can remember the word immediately. Really love it. Also, it's great for the tuna salad. The furniture that we see here is the furniture that was coming together with me from my previous home. This is something that I bought when I just moved to UK and basically something that I could afford at that moment. Well, I decided that I want to change those two pictures because uh, I want to go for a bit more brown theme. I will change the bed sheets and the bed cover because I don't like ironing them as you can see and I want something more sturdy and much, much more thick in a fabric so it looks and it keeps the shape much better. And then I really don't like anymore this kind of format of open drawers so I want to change them. And I've picked a couple from Ikea which have two drawers because I do like storage and I do need storage and um, yeah I want to put it all together hopefully it will be if not nice then at least it will be fun for you to watch the change with me this is the after version that I want to go through in more detail with you one of the biggest things that I wanted to go through in our bedroom is give it a bit of a hotel vibe because I don't know when we're gonna go back to the hotels with all of that corona fun hotel vibes the clean white bedding and that typical quilted cover at the end and uh, another thing if you saw the previous bed cover it was all wrinkly and I didn't even hide it from you because in all honesty I don't like ironing I'm not proud of it but at the same time this is the truth this is this kind of the thicker material of the bed cover so you don't need to iron it even if you wash it I believe it will last much better than the other thinner type of materials plus it covers the bed from I don't know all the dust so if you want to sit down during the day read a book you don't need to actually directly sit on the bed sheets that are nice and clean then the other thing that bothered me really for a long time is not even the color of the drawers but the fact that everything was open and everyone could see all the mess inside of it I wanted the completely closed type of drawer where it's messy not messy no one knows it's very nice and clean on the top and then inside is hidden this is another addition that I chose to add to our bed because I thought if you just look at the bed like this well it's neat but at the same time these pillows are all the softer material 
So after you sleep on them a couple of times, they wouldn't have such a neat look anymore. But when you have those kind of typical bedspread type of pillows, they are more of a sturdy material again. They're all washable because this is the typical H&M uh, home type of pillow cover. So both both and the pillow and the cover in H&M home. And uh, yeah, the, the fact that they're washable is a blessing because then you can get rid of all the dust that it will obviously collect. And another thing that you can see, so we have two different lamps in our bedside tables. So one of them is even a floor lamp, another one is the kind of typical table lamp, and I'm not even sure if it's for the bedroom's design or it's for the office, but many years ago I kind of liked it and chose it. Not sure if I still like the vibe, but at the same time, tell me in the comments, like, is that a thing? What's happening in this bedroom? Or should I actually, if I started changing, should I continue changing the situation in the bedroom? Last bit, why I say it's not unfinished look, are those two pictures. So I thought they kind of worked well for the previous version, but for the current version, I want the whole room to talk together. So we have this brown theme here, we have brown windows, and I wanted brown pictures here, so I've ordered four types of pictures I'll show you in a minute. Um, here I am, uh, like a typical commercial lady. So I bought this type of frames, and here you can also see the name of the IKEA where I bought them. They're not too large, but I bought four of them. And I also ordered the pictures inside, I'm just waiting for them to arrive. But I didn't want to wait to finally have all elements arrived, I just wanted to show you straight now <laughs> but the plan is basically to remove those two photos and then maybe make one line so one line here oh yeah very excited and i'm so happy for the bedroom the way it turned out so yeah tell me in the comments did i do a good job or should i change anything and um, what would you change what would you make different but at the moment i'm very very happy with this choice just waiting for the pictures to be hanged and yes i will really look forward to hear your comments about the lamps because I'm not sure if that's the best situation here. Also today, it's because it's a weekend, it's a standard thing at my home at least to do the cleaning because during the week I don't know if we all have time. I really adore the girls who find time to do all the cleaning during the week as well but for me it typically falls for the Friday or Saturday. So the thing that makes home smell really nice is this liquid so it's, I just realized that they're both from the same brand Flash, but I really really like them and the guys who ever lived abroad and came to UK temporarily and tried this liquid also do really miss them because I don't know if they're now in Latvia as well or somewhere abroad but here in UK I just fell in love with them so today for dinner I want to make very easy dinner I want to make steaks and a salad and uh, for that I wanted to make a garlic butter I don't know if everyone already does it at home and I'm the last one but um, let's do it anyway together so I got a pack of butter and I chose the unsalted one because I like to add my own salt in the end and I like to feel those kind of nice flakes in it. And you can either wait for the butter to melt, or even if it didn't me melt too much yet, you can simply chop it to pieces, put it to blender, blend together, and it works really nicely as well. I made this butter before, we both liked it, Honor and I, and we did it not only for like steak type of situation, but if you, for example, add it to your cauliflower rice, or if you add it to, I don't know, to pasta, or <laughs> anything basically, or I simply love it even with the baguette. So many options how to use. The recipe is super easy, as you can see, I'm just tossing half of the uh, butter here. I'm trying to spread it quite evenly so it doesn't have, you know, loads of garlic on one side and then none of it on the other. Then we will also add the garlic. So I will press some garlic here because I don't want to feel any chunks. I saw other girls add in the blender a full one piece garlic and it blends really nicely as well. But I just want to be on the safe side. Also I think if you like herbs, I would add some herbs like dill or maybe rosemary. So you have it more flavorful and more nice. 
But I will stick to simple garlic and butter situation here and salt. Oh yeah, you can just use your fantasy. This stage, it's super easy. We have butter in, we have garlic in. I will also add some salt. If you buy salted butter, I guess you can all together skip this step. I will add my lovely salt here. And now we simply cover the butter with the lid here. Turn on the blender. I love this stick blender. I think you can do so much stuff with it. So let's blend it together. And then now I will go take the cling film and we're gonna shape the butter nicely. And I'm putting it all out here. Okay, so we have all the butter out and I will try to roll it in such a sausage and I will spread it like a sausage as well. And I will put it to fridge to settle. If you decide to try it and make the butter as well, let me know, but I really like I found this recipe just recently, I tried it maybe once or twice and I'm already in love and I'm all hands in for the easiest recipes possible, so I think that's gonna be one of the main themes of my channel, super easy family-friendly recipes which make you not stay in the kitchen forever because uh, sometimes or most of the times we have more things to do than just spend it here this is where i think i will stop my vlog for this time because it's been ages since i've done it last time and i think that instead of me filling in the screen with lots of things just to fill in i better share with you maybe shorter type of videos but more useful ones tell me in the comments what would you want to see especially if you know me personally what would you like to see from my life or from the things I cook or generally how we suffer <laughs> or survive through the lockdown these times I really really hope that um, corona ends soon and um, I have my concerns regarding the vaccine I think again everyone who knows me knows that I do have them especially regarding the babies I don't know like I don't have any kids yet and my biggest worry is that I don't know how it will affect but I can save the topic maybe for some other video but at this time thank you so much for watching me hope I was useful for you and uh, see you in the next time bye